I take this time to welcome you to Vocational Skills Grade 6. We are talking about waste management. First and foremost, boys and girls, we have to ask ourselves what a waste is. What is a waste or a waste material? One, a waste is any unwanted material in the environment. Or, we can say these are things or objects that contribute to the untidiness of the environment. Now, waste materials can either be in liquid form or in solid form. Any unwanted material in the environment or any material that is not useful in the environment that is a waste. The most common waste that we have in our environment, one, we have the plastic bottles or plastic materials. We have packets of snacks, the packets of juice, biscuits, ice creams. We have chemical containers, bulletin papers, food leftovers. These are some of the waste that we have in our environment. We also have dirty water from toilets and from the bedroom and also from the kitchen. Dirty water is also another waste material. Now, there are several waste materials in the environment. These are objects or things that contribute to the environmental untidiness. All these wastes are classified into three major categories. The first category or the first group we have what is known as the organic waste. We have the organic waste. Now when we talk about the organic waste here we have the waste materials that easily decompose. These are wet materials that easily get rotten. Examples of organic waste we have food leftovers, right? When we eat, right, the remaining portions of food, we have leaves that fall from the tree. We have the fruit peels, the fruit peels. These ones are organic waste. These are materials, the waste materials that easily decompose. The second group we have the toxic waste, right? These are poisonous wastes. For example, we have the chemical containers where we talk of the pesticides or insecticide containers, right? The batteries. The batteries we have Syringes and needles, these ones are used in the hospitals, right, for injections. The third group of waste we have, the recyclable waste. These are waste materials that can be put back into use. Examples of the recyclable waste materials, one, we have the plastic bottles or the plastic material, right, pieces of paper or old iron sheets, Right? This one can be collected, taken to the factories, they are molten, and then they can be used for making other things. Now, let us talk about waste disposal. This is the act of getting rid of the waste. This involves collecting the waste materials and dumping them in an area where they pose no danger in the environment. We all know that waste materials are very dangerous in the environment. Talk about broken bottles, they can cut pieces of iron, they can pray. So generally waste materials are not needed in the environment because they contribute to uh, what is known as the untidiness of the environment. This can lead to uh, harm or uh, this can lead to eruption of diseases. Methods of waste disposal. There are three major methods of waste disposal. Right? One, we have burying. 
we bury the waste this, the, uh, materials. Now, burying the waste materials, this means that uh, it involves digging a bit, right? And then you dump the waste materials, then you cover them using soil, or if they are so dangerous, you can cover them using concrete material. So, burying is recommended for poisonous waste or poisonous substances and their containers. We have tins, we have broken bottles, right? Or the organic material. Organic material can also be buried in our chambers or this can contribute to the uh, enhancement of fertility of the soil, right? So it's converted into manure and this is a nutrient for the, for the, for the, for the, for the plants. The second uh, method of waste uh, disposal is burning. Burning is involving setting the waste materials on fire so that they are lit and totally destroyed. It is recommended that when we are burning waste materials, we be very careful. One, because fire is very dangerous, and especially when we are burning the tins of insecticides. For example, what you used to spray in your rooms, uh, uh, they even used uh, to prevent you from uh, mosquitoes, right? So, those cans can be burned, but when you are burning them, you have to be very careful. But if we have very dangerous waste, we recommend that poisonous and most dangerous waste in the environment should be burned in what is known as an incinerator. An incinerator is an equipment which is meant for burning and totally destroying the most poisonous waste and incinerate an equipment used for burning uh, the most dangerous and poisonous waste. Good. Now, an incinerator is found in hospitals, an incinerator is found in big uh, factories. So, the type of waste which is recommended for burning, we have poisonous waste, substances, clinical medicine containers, syringes and the needles that are used in the hospital. Those are some of the things that should be burned in an incinerator. The last one we have disposal by the use of the, the means of sewage. Disposal by the means of sewage. Sewage is a channel where dirty water is directed to a pool where later it can be treated. Using this method, we can dispose dirty water from the kitchen, dirty water from the bathroom, dirty water from the toilets, right? So the three methods of waste disposal are burning, we have barring, we have use of the sewer system. So boys and girls, we shall stop there and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.